So I just got my Phelps Norelco Shaver 3500 in the mail. It says it's got 5D pivot and flex heads. Uh, shave wet and dry, so I'm going to shave half my face dry and half my face wet. Comfort cut blades. Phillips does have some pretty good, uh, pretty much the same blades on all the trimmers I've found, pretty much regardless of the price. 60 minute run time on the battery and a pop-up trimmer. Let's see if we can find that real quick. Looks like you just pop it up, so that's kind of convenient. So, I did just unbox it. It comes with the shaver, a plastic cover to protect the blades, a power cord, and the owner's manual in a little carry case. This is one of the cheaper razors, I think. After the video, I'll jump online and give you some prices. Right now, I'm going to make sure the battery's charged, and then I'll show you guys how it does with the wet and dry shave. Okay, here goes the dry shave. I only let it charge for maybe 25 minutes, half hour. It says it's got two bars, so we'll see how it does. It does say in the manual with these, most of these uh, Phillips Norelco razors have the three circular dills. It does say to shave in a circular motion. Wow, this one's actually doing better than the, any other ones I've tried so far. But uh, I did let my beard grow out, grow out a little bit for the video. Well, there you have it with the dry shave. Um, I'm pretty impressed. You're never going to get as close as a razor handle with a, a razor blade, but it uh, looks pretty good. Okay, I switched the camera around. I already splashed some uh, warm water on my face. I got some Gillette series. Oh, shaving gel. I like the Gillette brand. I actually use a Gillette Fusion Pro Glide razor handle. It's the Pro Glide Power. I think they came out with a newer version of it. I need to get, but uh, I'll give you a link to purchase that if you want. Because I still haven't found a razor to beat that. But as far as the electric razors go, you can still get a close shave with them, just not as quite as close as a razor handle. But uh, here we go with the wet shave. And again, I'm just shaving in a circular motion. And you can't rinse these off in uh, water, they're designed for it, so. I just try to go in a circular motion against the grain of my beard.
Alright, let me just rinse off real quick and we'll see how it looks. thing about the uh, wet shave is you can move the razor a lot more and dig in a little bit more with less skin irritation but I am going to have to go over it. Pretty close, it's hard to tell. Uh, I do feel like I actually got a closer shave with the dry shave with this razor, but uh, um, I probably still want to buy one of the elect these electric razors. I'll still stick with my uh, Gillette Fusion Pro Glide Power. I'll provide a link to that razor in the description below the video. But, uh, this is the third Philips Norel Co razor I've tried out. I can't really see a difference between them regardless of price. They all have these three circular blade deals, whatever. Uh, I just don't think there's much difference between them regardless of price, but I'll jump online and give you some prices real quick, thanks. Did want to mention real quick, this one is a little bit unique because it does have a pop-up deal, so um, when you do the wet shave, it rinses the, the hair out of the razor anyways, but if you do the drive shave, you can just pop it, dump it in the trash, lock it back into place. So that is really convenient. So this Philips Norelco series 3000. It says 3500 on the box, but it does say 3000 on the razor here. I don't don't see what difference it makes. It's definitely the razor it's supposed to be. But anyways, I do like this best so far out of the three Philips and Rocco models I've tried just because of the, the convenience features of that. You don't have to pop anything completely loose that stays attached. I really like that. That way you don't lose anything and everything stays together. So, Okay, here we have the Philips and Rocco Shaver 3500 on Amazon.com, $59.97 and free shipping. I was actually surprised I got it from Best Buy, which Amazon's usually cheaper, but it's only $59.99 at Best Buy which if you have a Best Buy in town you might be able to pick it up or you can usually order it for a pickup if they don't have it in stock but anyways not much different in price there even if I'm not gonna buy anything on Amazon I like to use Amazon because all the reviews they have this one has over 3500 ratings so you can get a pretty good idea of what it's gonna do if you go to look at them I mean there's one three-star rating at first but usually you can tell right away if there's 
two or three bad reviews, but this one's got some pretty strong reviews right away. And so far out of the electric Phillips and Railco shavers I've tried out, those are the only ones I've tried out so far. This one's my favorite because, like I said, it's got the shaving attachment that just pops out from the side. And that way you don't have to take it off, you won't lose it. And the shaving heads, this deal up here that holds the shaving heads, it's even got the little button that pops the shaving heads up and they don't detach so you just rinse them out and everything stays attached. It's real basic and cheap but it gets the job done so this is definitely my favorite out of the ones I've tried so far as far as value and like I said it seems like all the Phillips and Rail Co's with the round, triple round blades all shave the same in my opinion so far so this is my favorite so far so I'll provide a link in the uh, description below the video if you want to order one. Thanks.